Hello there. It's been a while. Um, I was on a trip, a trip of a lifetime. We went to Alaska and I've been gone about two weeks. So um, I came back and I have been wanting to do this. So I thought I would just film a flip of my uh, Moterm. This is the Personal Lux in a veg tan leather. And this is the Honey. I am absolutely in love with this cover. It's very beautiful. And I may actually be selling my personal wide Giglio in gold um, because I'm so in love with this and it just, it, it gives me that happy feeling and it, I just love it. So anyways, let's get to it. So let me, let me show you the outside. So it's pretty stuffed. I have it pretty full. Um, it does have two pen loops, which is nice. I have my little baby Yoda charm there. I believe that that was from no white space stickers a while back. I'm pretty sure been a long time so I can't remember some of the things I, I'm not going to remember where they're from but whatever I, I do remember I will tell you so here we go um, I love this cover I love that it has the little cover for the zipper so that it doesn't mess up anything over here even though I have some vellum over this this is just an image I found on um, Google I just typed in vintage typewriters and books and this is one of the ones that came up and I screenshotted it and I printed it on some iridescent vellum and I think it's very beautiful. Um, oh my goodness, I can't remember where these are from. I wanna say Kubo and Lucy. Um, this is Sterling Ink, of course. I accidentally printed one of these trigger lists, super tiny, from um, the planner spot, but I thought it was so cute. I just laminated it and I'm keeping it in here because I think it's cute. Um, picture me and my husband. I just print those little ones out at Walgreens um, and you can do like four to a page for wallet size and then this is from uh, See Me Draw. Super cute. So this is the Flyleaf uh, which I really like. It has a humongous pen loop. You can put you know a big fountain pen or whatever you want there. Um, I just have a Sarasa clip. Zebra Sarasa. This is 03. Um, this is KR Plans Ollie Clip. This is some acetate foiled from Honey Bee Shop. Also, this is Honey Bee Shop. And then I just put an adhesive pocket here and put some pictures. These are my grandparents. So this is my grandma with me and my cousin, Allison, when we're babies. And then this is my um, grandma and grandpa with me on my wedding day. So anyways, I just put those in there. I have these really pretty etched dividers from the Crescent Planner and I highly recommend her shop. Um, this beautiful vellum that's like a vintage style. This planner has a lot of vintage kind of stuff in it. This is from Creatively Planned. Journaling Home. Um, Jen B Plans. These little half notes. I just put those in there before I went on my trip. This is some, uh, I just printed these out. This is from Luna Luz Plans and then I foiled these myself. These were the first things that I foiled and I am just, I'm in love with them. I think they're gorgeous. Inbox, uh, Plan With B. I've got a, a couple of those. This, somebody gave this to me. I think it's from Cloth & Paper. I don't know, I don't order from Cloth & Paper, but it was a gift and I liked it, so I kept it. Um, this, of course, is the August freebie from Paper Tess. It has the two. I'm probably gonna pull the August out. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave this in because I really like it. It looks like cotton. Um, journaling home. I got these clips, are super cheap on Amazon. You just buy a whole giant package of like a couple hundred. Journaling home. Pictures of me and my family, my niece, my nephews at Disneyland. And this and insert is from oh, Cat's Resto Co. This is, I got this thing, this pops out from Amazon. And then I did have to adjust the holes a little bit to fit in this personal. Um, I think it's meant for like A6. That same trigger list from the planner spot. And I just did both sides and then I laminated it. That way I can move it from planner to planner if I want to. Brain dump again, plan with B. I've got a bunch of that in there. Some car stuff, phone calls that I needed to make. Uh, again, this is these are all like, I think Amazon stickers, um, but the, the the plastic insert is from Cat's Resto Co. This is from, oh, I can't think of the name. 
everybody shops with her. Any plants, printables. I really like the colors and this is just gonna be notes. Let me see some of this is personal. Here's some blank pages that you can just print. Uh, this was a freebie from a couple of months ago from Paper Toss. She always does like the calendar and then a really pretty divider or a, not divider, but dashboard. And I printed this again on the iridescent, iridescent vellum. Uh, list to make, I can't remember where that's from. Somebody will, if you remember, put it in the in the notes. Again, this is a design from Luna Loose Plans. Of course, it's just black if you print it, um, but then I ran it through my laminator with some heat um, foil and foiled it myself and I love it. Picture of me and my boys at Monterey. Some to order stuff that I needed to order from Amazon. That's kind of what this section is for. They can go, the rest of these are blank. Trick a list from uh, at underscore Patty does, D-O-E-S, Patty does. Uh, I like this trigger list. It has a lot of good information on it. Aria's Daydream. I have two of these. So I have this one and then I have this one. So Spider Gwen and Spider Man, and I love them. Um, these are custom order that you have to do with her. And again, let me see what's in here. Oh, this is just add to planner section. Yeah, I mean, I added this. <laughs> I haven't added any washi yet, but like I said, I've been gone. Reoccurring bills. Again, plan with B. She has a bunch of really cool stuff you can download off of her um, account. This is a clear divider that was like one of those ones that I got off of Amazon. And then I printed out pictures of me and my family just on regular printer paper and glued them on there. And then I put over the top the sparkly clear sticker paper. And it's just made kind of a cool dashboard and I really like it. Another divider from Crescent Planner. This is a receipt for mental health that I made myself um, just on my iPad and printed it out. Everybody's doing these receipt type things and I really liked it. If anybody wants this, this is free on my Instagram um, at Teacher Nessie Plans. And just go under freebies, you can click on it. I have a couple different ones in there. You can just screenshot them and print them out. I cannot for the life of me remember where this came from. I wanna say like my minimal planner or something like that. But they're really pretty. Um, just any yes, printables, but I think she's actually closed up now. So this was a super awesome deal with all these um, dashboards because it was like 91 of them. Um, this is all doctor's visits. This is a blank one that I left on the front. I'm obviously not gonna flip through this. This is paper test designs with Hate Planner Girl. They did a collab. Um, that was kind of like a home management thing. So you can print that out from there. Journaling home. This is some really beautiful printed vellum um, <clears throat> from Brooke Ava Prints. Uh, I do have a discount code for her, which is Vanessa20. Vanessa20, Nessie20. Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done one of these videos. I'll put it below. Uh, task reminders, plan with B. Trigger list. Another one of these from the Crescent Planner. A uh, vellum from Creatively Planned. Just any of printables. And this is just these to do things are just from like Amazon. You can get whole packs of them for cheap. This is the Paper Test Hey Planner Girl. Again, home management. I loved all this information. It just has a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to go through this really quickly. Things that, and I just went through and printed the ones that I was interested in. Uh, different cleaning reminders, um, organizational things, just clean, smarter tips, things like that I thought was cool. Um, I will show this. So this is the cleaning tracker. This is from that same home management from Paper Test, the Hey Planner Girl. I was gone half of the month, so I got half of it down. Um, and then I'm just using this um, Clean Color Dot Metallic, which I really like the metallic ones. This one is gold. It came in a set, and so I just used a little tip to mark those down. And I need to start a new one for September. Again, this is just paper bundle from Amazon. Okay, and I have like the cleaning section in with my home section. So I probably wanna put like a vellum or something in between that. I love that these are 30 millimeter rings because I can fit a ton on here. Another divider from Hey uh, Present Planner. 
Um, here we have this vellum from Creatively Planned. I can't remember where this is from. This is a freebie. I'll see if I can find it. Um, creatively Planned. And then this is my YouTube section. I just put this together last month and I haven't really filled it out all the way. Um, just, I wanna do like, when I do a video and check it off, ideas I have for videos, stuff like that, things I wanna do, reels I wanna make. And I'm just trying to keep it kind of simple for that. Uh, Crescent Planner. This is another one of the Cat Espresso Co. dashboard, just pictures I printed from Walgreens. And these two little cards are from Drilling Home. That's cute. I just got that in a package. Who sent that to me? I can't remember. I think this is my minimal planner. Again, this was a gift. This is cloth and paper. This came with the other one. Um, I bought something and somebody sent me a bunch of these in here. This is from Calixta Creations. I have some of these in black. I have them in all different sizes because I love them. I think they're so beautiful. Um, she doesn't always do these, but she, I think they're still up right now. So Calixta with an X, Calix X, Tuck Creations on Etsy. And she just does really good work and I think they're really pretty. I have black is my favorite and I have one that I just put for my standard. This somebody gave me, I can't remember where it's from or she didn't tell me. Um, this is a fold out. I need to put more stuff in this. I don't have, like I wanna put stickers or cute things in here and I just haven't done it yet because I love this so much. I think it's so cute. Uh, this is from Cat Espresso Co. And I just have this note to self in here because this is kind of my wellness mental health section and I like that this just, it just says like, I am worthy, you are enough. I just, I like that a lot. Peace. Um, Avoid burnout. Oh, my minimal planner. Yeah, my minimal planner. So that's for this one. And then that other one that I had that had the coffee, that's my minimal planner too, because those are the same. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to find it again. Same place, my minimal planner. Uh, these were also given to me and I'm just using them for some basic tracking. I just filled this out. Um, don't look at my handwriting, it's horrible. I have arthritis and today was just not a great day for me to be writing. So my writing looks horrible, but Anyways, that doesn't matter. The point is I'm just using the Zig color dot to mark off when I'm doing good in certain things just to help me keep track of what I need to do better. Obviously, some things I'm doing great on and other things like working out and not eating sugar. I am not doing too great. Um, these are affirmations. I'm doing with this what I want. Um, I know there's different things. Again, these were a gift. So I'm just writing down things that I want to focus on so and then I messed up writing that because my hand didn't work but just this prayerful meditation in my mind and my heart journaling home journaling home these um were also just any printables and I printed these out because I really like the layout of it and I want to do it for like personal mental health type journaling type stuff here's the October freebie from Sterling Inc that I printed out before I went on my trip. It's so pretty. Um, but I love the coffee stuff and I mainly wanted this sheet for like this. Um, but then I ended up printing out all this other stuff because I thought it was cool and I haven't used it. I'm not gonna use this for dailies. I'm just gonna use this for like personal notes and journaling and mental health stuff that I, that I wanna write down. I just haven't started with these, but I printed out a ton of them because I really like them. Um, and then I started a book reading. This is a, just a piece of that vellum. You know, whenever you slice stuff off, I just think like, this is a great size for a bookmarker. And so I just cut it down. I punched holes in it and I use my corner rounder and I think it's super cute. I love that it's silver and gold. Um, this is from Little Raven Inc. I had her Patreon for a year in 2021. And you know, once you're there, you can download everything. You have the files. And this is probably my most favorite one she ever did. Um, when I was in her Patreon. So I printed again on that iridescent vellum and just made a dashboard out of it. So this is my reading log that I just started, kind of writing some rereads that I wanna do. Some of my favorite authors like Sarah M. Eden, Julianne Donaldson, Odette C. Bell, Jennifer Ann Davis. And I need to put down like Sarah Britton. I like, I like a lot of stuff. But anyways, I wanna write down some of my favorites. Um, and then I have a thing back here, which I think I'm gonna read you because this doesn't look very good, but just favorites and things that, that were recommended to me and then books that I hated. Um, so that's that section. This is the last one from Crescent Planner. 
Kubo and Lucy, this is freebie. You can go and they have your name. And I wanna do the, I wanna reprint this again, maybe on vellum and then probably laminate it so it'll last longer. This is SM Plans note paper. This is a dashboard again from Cat Espresso Co. This one's actually personal wide and it actually fits in here, but some of the personal wide ones that I have don't fit. So I don't know why this one does and the others don't, but um, just some wedding pictures. Me and my husband and a bunch, you know, little some of my favorite little stickers. Stickers that I basically made die cuts out of. I'll kind of add like a little bit underneath there if I need it to stick out a little bit more. Um, this is from Busy Bee Planners. Super cute, I love that girl. These are just from Etsy, I can't remember what shop, just random shop, I just typed in like sloth with coffee. Um, this is just coffee sticker. And then this was a freebie, and I don't know where it came from, but I love it. I love the mountains and hiking, so. Anyways, um, this planner has a ton of pockets. If these come up and you like personal size, I highly suggest them. It fits a lot. Um, I have worked with it a lot to make it so that, you know, you can see it's sling pretty flat like it doesn't bother me to write on I did learn if I put stuff in the back pockets that also kind of helps to fill up that space so that it lays a little bit flatter um, so that works for me because I like a, a bunch of stuff that I want to keep in there anyways uh, so anyways uh, I think that's it oh gotta have Dutch Bros <laughs> this was their sticker for August and I missed September so if you go like towards the first of the month, they usually have a free sticker for you. So of course I like to go get that. So anyways, I still love this planner. I have no plans of selling it or getting rid of it, anything like that. I absolutely love it. I think it's a beautiful quality. And I think, you know, if you need something a little more affordable than like a Giglio, I had a Vander Speck. And honestly, my personal opinion, probably unpopular opinion, I wasn't super impressed with the Vander Speck. I know, VDS, everybody loves them. I do love Julio. I think Julio is like top of the line to me. Um, let me pull, I've shown a comparison of these before. Let me grab my gold. This is my gold Julio personal wide. And the color is really close. The leather is squishier on the Julio. Um, and obviously this is personal luxe. This is personal wide. So the personal wide is bigger. Let me get them evened up a little bit. You know, it's about an inch. Um, but I just think they're so close <laughs> for me. I don't know. I'm still tossing it around. I'm also thinking about de-ringing this and using it as a folio for, um, I ordered the B6 Sterling Ink Planner for next year that I'm going to try. Um, so I might, you know, you can just pop the rings up and then put a paper behind it so that I can pop them back in if I want to. I might try that and see how I like it. Um, I do have this full of just a lot of stuff that I love um, that I'm just not currently using. So yeah, I go back and forth. But these are so similar for me and I'm this is, makes me happy enough. I don't know, we'll see what I do. But anyways, flip of my Veg Tan Honey Moterm Personal Luxe. Have a great day. Bye.